Hi viewers, my name is Eric Elango. Welcome to another tutorial. And today I'm going to take you through the process of editing a form. A form can simply be your client information form where you capture information about new clients. Before I proceed with the process, I just want to show you what um, a client form looks like, a client information form looks like. So I'll click on the new client quick button and take you directly to the form client information. So this is what it looks like. We can see the client's first name, middle name, last name. So all of this, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that we have a phone number field, but we don't have an alternative phone number field, which is what I intend to, to add to this form. So to edit this form, I just need to scroll to the top of the dashboard and click on configuration and then scroll down to customization. I'm going to click on customization. Under user forms, I'm being shown a list of uh, user forms with uh, the client details form as one of uh, these forms. This is where I can actually edit uh, the client information. So I'll just click on the view blue button on the right of the form, like so. And the system will then take me to the core of this form where we have the various fields and I'm able to add new fields or delete existing fields by clicking the actions X button here. But in this case, I just want to add a new field. As I said before, it's an alternative for number field. And once I've entered the name of the field, I'm being asked to select the field type. So it can be uh, a number, which is the right uh, choice for this for this example. Uh, we have drop downs, checkbox, signatures, images, and all of that. So once we select field type, we just need to click the add plus sign here. Uh, we just need to add by clicking the plus sign here, and you can see that uh, the alternative phone number field has been added. We can check the mandatory box to make it mandatory or we can decide to adjust the order of this form by clicking the order button here so we have top order button and the bottom order button so i just take this field right to the top as you can see and since i'm happy with the order i would then click submit very easy the system will now tell me that uh, it has been successfully saved now to check our work we just need to go back to the dashboard in order to check the form so i'll click the new client quick button again and go directly to my client information form and we can see here that uh, an alternative phone number field has been added and I'm able to then capture that information. So this is how you, you edit forms and fields, making sure that uh, you capture um, the required information, information that is necessary for your operations. Thank you very much for your kind attention, and I hope that you found this, uh, you found this tutorial really useful.